Hello, welcome back to the farm. One thing that almost every plant needs is sunlight. And here in the tropical forest, it can be a little bit competitive to get to the sunlight. So I would like to share with you a few of the strategies that plants use to get higher up so that they can get closer to the sun and get more sunlight ahead of all these other plants. There are actually multiple strategies, but today we're gonna to be talking about the grappling hook. The grappling hook is the tool that Batman uses. It's like a set of claws on a rope and he like swings it, throws it on a building. It grabs hold and then it hangs right off the edge of the building and then he can climb that grappling hook. So plants make their own grappling hooks. I bet, I don't know, did you know that? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna share with you three examples of plants that use a grappling hook leaf structure uh, in order to climb all over everything and get close to the sun. And the first one, I bet you already know. That's right. The very first plant that uses grappling hooks to climb is the tomato. As you can see, its leaf sections are shaped kind of like this. And they hold on to wild stuff. They grow over it and kind of drape over and they get caught in uh, this other thing that it's using to hold itself, it gets caught in these little ridges in between. And that's how the tomato plant, which actually has quite a weak stem, as you know, if you've ever grown tomatoes, that's how it manages to hold itself up and haul itself closer to the sun, which it loves for itself. Now, if you've ever used uh, one of those metal circular, uh, tomato cage thingies. It basically does the same thing. Here it is. It doesn't mind. It's growing over this bamboo orchid, holding on to a branch here of this puna rose, holding on to anything. And up it climbs up here. That's right. That is actually taller than me. So with this weak little stem with which it can't really do anything on its own, it uses the grappling hook leaf in order to climb higher. The next plant that we're looking at is a very important local fern that is called uluhi in Hawaiian language. And the scientific name is Decrinopterus linearis. And what it does is in every section, it kind of splits in two like this. And then each section has this grappling hook kind of thing. And it climbs over anything. It climbs over itself. It climbs over other trees. There used to be a path here, but not anymore. Look, it's climbing over this other bush. These are kind of, they get stuck on everything, including with themselves. And that's how this plant gets high up. I can't even see through here anymore. This is taller than me, this thicket. This plant can grow on almost anything. And one of its strategies is that when these old leaves toward the bottom dry up, they kind of like maintain their shape and their strength of the this like woody stem. So they kind of stay in the position that they're in and then the new shoots and everything climbs up over them. So it can very much build a sort of airy structure for itself that it climbs over. And you can see that here. Here's some of the old stuff and there's some of that new green stuff. That's about 10 feet high up in the air. And the way I discovered this, this grappling hook ability is that on their own, these stems can kind of flop over like that. So they were flopping into our path and I was like cutting them down, cutting them down. But they're an important local species and they're one of the sort of early plants to go into lava places, disturbed places. It's a dominant plant here where we live. It does a wonderful thing on the bottom, which is create, uh, I mean, eventually these bits, they do eventually dry up and fall apart and it makes a wonderful mulch in there. And so these guys are basically building soil. It's a nice shady, moist environment under there. And other important 
uh, keystone species like ohia trees um, are able to kind of have a safe shady haven here in this area under the aluhi tree. We also discovered that it helps to keep weeds down because when we cut uh, sections of it all we got instead was this sort of like really aggressive grass. So it serves a lot of useful functions even if it's not something that you use and even if it scratches you all the time. So what I discovered, because so the thing is, I started to feel bad. I don't want to cut it because it, you know, has this important function. It grows fast. It makes a lot of um, mulch, you know, that is good for soil building and everything else. So I realized you can just sort of drape them over each other like that. Wow, that totally didn't work. There. Here's another one. You just kind of hang them over each other and they'll just stay that way. Here's a really long one. This one is probably um, maybe five feet tall. Fallen over. You see that on its own? This is where its base is. Falls over. But you can just kind of push it into these other plants. It's the rest of its self, I guess. And it'll just hang on wonderful you can even look we'll hang it like that just kind of hang it it grabs done now your problem is solved all thanks to the plant grappling hook and the third plant is something that you may even have at home these are a bunch of air plants they grow very well here <laughs> your tree can actually become infested with them and they can kind of like take over your entire tree. And I was having trouble hanging them. I was like, oh, I was hanging them in like this little pot thing because they want to be in the air. They're an air plant until I finally realized one day I don't have to work on hanging them from the bottom. I was trying to like organize the bottom of it, which is like, you know, nothing. But look at the top. It's a grappling hook. So you just set it down. And it just stays there. And that's how it must be in nature. Because they live high up in a tree. And then they fall. Right? As new little... Here's a new little baby. New baby. Anyway. There's the big one and there's the baby butting off. So maybe they fall when it gets too heavy. They fall in something else or in another branch. And they just stay there. Still in the air. Still pretty high up. Because of the grappling hook. The almighty plant grappling hook. Alright. Well that's it for today. Next time we're going to look at the next plant strategy for getting high up. Which is vines. See you then.